because hopefully everyone's sitting down right now. Hopefully everyone's got a massive bag of popcorn because today we've got such an absolutely insane mystery box. I don't even know if I'm ready to open it. Alright, so a bit of a backstory about this package right here. Basically, it's sent by my main man, Drew's Custom Cards. He makes some of the craziest custom Pokemon cards we've ever seen ever. And he said, Ando, I've been working for months on end for a very, very special surprise for your channel. Then randomly the other day, like I'm talking months later, he sends me an Instagram DM saying, check your mailbox because I've sent you an absolute massive parcel. And this thing was at the front door. Okay, and then the craziest part, right, he's like, dude, this may be so crazy, you might have to do two videos on it, you might have to separate it part one and part two. What the flip has he put in the box? That's all I know, I don't know anything else. So uh, without further ado, we're going to try and open this uh, package up. It's sealed so well. Oh! Alright, there's a note. There's a note. Let's read the note out. Alright, so on the note right here, it says, Dear Ando slash Unlisted Lee, I hope you are ready and sitting down for the most amazing custom content I've ever made. Inside of this package, you'll receive custom cards, custom posters, oh gosh, custom artworks, and the very... Alright, listen to this. For the very first time on planet Earth, your very one-of-a-kind, custom-made, galaxy-designed booster box. Bruh. So I hope you and your viewers are ready to have their socks knocked right off, enjoy everything, have fantastic pulls, all the way for yours truly, Drews. Custom cards. Alright, let's just do it. Let's get this bad boy open right here and see what's inside. Okay, so there's a lot of bubble wrap, which means there's usually... Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! My custom three cards. What the heck? In some sort of bubble mailer? All right, let's get all the bubble. Oh, custom cards and so on. This thing weighs so like that's so heavy. Um. Oh no! Look at that. You can just see straight off the bat. We got some uh, clone Pokemon from the Mewtwo movie right there. That looks absolutely amazing. I remember like, uh, what was it? I think you sent me cards with these artworks on them. They were fantastic. Is that like a bookmark or something? There's more stuff in here though, guys. It's like, oh no, it's like a poster or something. This is the last thing that's in here. I don't know if we should be opening this right now, but I'm gonna do it. Get the sticky tape off. Whoa! Dude, this is why I love this custom stuff. Look at this, Unlisted Leaf Squad right here. A custom poster for the boys. The man's got all my, my favorite Pokemons on the front, like Umbreon, uh, Haunter, Lugia. Unlisted Leaf Squad poster right there with all the custom Pokemon cards. That looks sick. Then check this out. Yo, 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 yo. This is like a custom made first edition Ando's Thunderous poster right here. How ridiculous is that? That's literally, that's my, that's my man, Thunderous. And then all of his custom cards in the background. Dude, what the heck? That was sick. I love that. I don't know. Am I the only one that gets really excited over custom artwork like that? All right, let's keep it going. I reckon the next one we should open is the massive uh, yellow envelope. So we're going to take a look at what we need to unbox on the unboxing table. Oh, snap. Oh, what the flip are you sent? There's like... There's what the heck is that? That's been nailed shut. There's Pokemon cards that are nailed shut. Shiny Bulbasaur to... It's the starter evolutions in the shiny form base set version. All right, that's pretty crazy. What are we... Oh my gosh! The same thing, but then Mewtwo's version as well. I literally see you, man. I see what you're doing right here, and it's revolutionary. There's multiple... Oh my... The card's genuinely in 3D as well. Okay, this is priceless stuff, 100%. But let's keep it going for the sake of the video. Let's keep... Oh, what the flip is that? All right, give me a second. All right, so we got Ivysaur... Oh, these like prints. Ivysaur, War Turtle, Charmeleon. So a middle ground Pokemon right there. That looks pretty sick. Then I think this is what he was talking about. This is like uh, a main attraction. Dude, are you looking at this? I, th I remember this is what he was talking about, I think. Something about... <laughs> No way. Do you guys know, like, the collab I did with, like, uh, Super Duper Danny, uh, Real Breaking Nate, Lee and Hart? Well, then he's put himself in the collab with Zaba Cards, and he's made it a Super Smash Brothers framed portrait. Because, like, if we go back, Drew's Custom Cards is a mural artist as well. He's not just a Pokemon artist. So the fact he's got him framed a Super Smash Brothers version of our collab, or, like, the pack battle we did, is bananas. We got my, like, little battle card down the bottom as well. Oh, this is literally, like, peak of Unlisted Leaf's career. This bad boy right here. 
Then what the heck is this? Oh, no way. How did you even get this? This is like the proper Wizards of the Coast. Um, it's like the sealed binder they used to put the cards in to display. And so not only do we have the original nine right there as the starter displays, but there are full colored in reverse holo foil version of the card. That is stunning. That's something you put on the wall when everyone asked you about. Oh, I am literally done for the day. I've clocked off a while ago. I don't know about you guys. This is nuts. You're such a good artist, man. And you've presented all of this so nicely. You put it in like a framed binder and everything. Literally had to screw that shot. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, yellow envelope right here. It feels super sturdy. And we'll break it open I think it feel oh god it's another one of those it's another one of those screw things but what could he put in the uh second one oh it's transforming cards the man's peaked the man's peaked I don't know if we could ever get a customs card package again this is this is literally the peak of anything you gotta ch I gotta show you guys HD and you gotta check this out because this is just this is just bananas I'm blown away. I'm literally, I, I have no words. Everything is just leaving me speechless. I'm so excited to actually put this uh, framed and like in my Pokemon museum because it's like, oh, it's stuff that you just can't get. Like you have to go get the artist or get like Drew's custom cards to make it. And then the framing job is sensational. Now we have got a uh, random pack of cards, but I think before we unbox that on the, uh, the uh, unboxing table, let's do the booster box. This is something that I'm so excited about. He's been taunting me for ages on Instagram. He's always like, Endo, I'm making a booster box for you. And I'm like, all right, I'll believe it when I see it. And ladies and gentlemen, now is the time that I'm about to see it. So let's find out. What's this uh, Galaxy custom booster box all about? All right, I'm opening the doors. I'm opening the doors. He sent some stickers to start with. Nice, Venusaur and Charizard stickers. Oh, they're beautiful, they feel nice. Yo, yep, this is it. <laughs> this is the peak of existence. Oh <laughs> uh, no, dude, what the flip? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even want to touch it, but we have right here a Drew's custom card booster box. Let me take this to the unboxing table and show it off. That is nuts. It's properly exactly like a booster box and how it would be. So guys, before we crack into the most ridiculous custom booster box, I've like literally, it's one of two. I think I got one like years ago and it was hand drawn. This one right here is my first ever custom made, like actual official computer generated booster box right here. Apparently it's one of two in the entire world. So... We're really spoiled on getting this in the channel. So before we crack this one open, look at this. The artwork is all over. It's got the official seal with uh, a bit of sticky tape. I love this. Then on the back by Drew's Custom Cards, um, Custom Pokemon. Look at this, 24 card pack. Oh my gosh. 24 packs, five cards in each of the packs, and then it includes a holo card in every single one. Plus a bonus custom sticker on each box. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, before we crack into that, we've also got this bubble wrap section of cards that he included. I don't know what's inside of here. This is as far as I really got in uh, asking him what's inside the package. I should get scissors. I don't want to damage it with a Stanley knife. Let's get this baggie open right here. Slide out the Pokemon cards. And what do we do? I don't know. We've got the stickers. We'll put those to the side. Let's go over a couple of these AR first edition. Oh, this is Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. No way. Okay, so I know my man is an absolutely massive Dragon Ball Z fan. Um, I think he was commenting on a couple of like booster boxes of Dragon Ball Z stuff we got. He's like, you've got to crack them open. And this shows so much. SSJ Blue Vegeta. Look at the shine. You can see my reflection in the card. No, in person, this is so reflective. Ultra Instinct Master Goku. No way! And no shiny Charizard. First edition. Oh, snap. Can you see that? And no shiny Charizard. This is literally like... Oh, it's 3D, so that's like cut out right there. Ando's Thunderous. <sighs> All right, let's keep it going. Hold it, hold it down, hold it down for the boys. Holy, <coughs> that's me. That's like me as a trainer avatar. Then it's got Thunderous, my logo right there, and first edition, Unlisted Leaf Trainer. This is so epic, man. Like if you honestly showed me any of the stuff when I first started making YouTube videos, I would have been like, no one would ever bother doing this. And the fact now someone's made me an avatar, made my favorite Pokemon, all on like a base set trainer logo. 
and it's all in 3D. Oh my, yo, I remember this now. He was asking me a few questions about my favorite Pokemon. So we got Charizard and Thunderous and like the most amazing cartoon avatar of me. It's got my custom thing. I wish I was wearing my red shirt because it would have been, oh, it would have been even better. Oh no, wait, the Full Art GX version. Then the regular Full Art GX version. Oh, I'm shaking. This is nuts. So this has got the reflective uh, background right there. So it looks like a shiny GX card, but then for bang, full blown, proper artwork. Let's have a look at this. Oh my goodness. Drew's custom cards, you have knocked it out the park. That may be one of my favorite custom full art cards, GX wise, I've ever got. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. But this whole package, man, I've been on the. You've outdone anything I've ever seen before, easily. Oh my gosh. Put that to the side. Let's keep it going, though, just for the sake of viewers so they don't get too bored. But we got a bunch of these custom stickers Shadow Lugia, that's from uh, XD right there, the GameCube game. Red Eyes, Black Charizard Dragon, <laughs> that is sick. Yo, it's a mix of the, uh, you know, Red Eyes from Yu-Gi-Oh mixed with the Charizard original artwork. And then the Legendary Pack Booster, which I presume we're just gonna crack open today. Like, let's get this bad boy open. Let's see what's inside of these, uh, oh gosh, this boost back right here. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna like rip any of the cards. Slide it out, oh, okay, here we go, here we go. You ready? We're gonna Moltres. Look at these original screenshots out the anime. First edition Moltres. Then a Raikou looking at the stars. Then a Ho Ho. Then a Mewtwo as well. Then like a gold silhouette of Mewtwo in the background as well. And I think there was a, uh, there's supposed to be a Suicune in there. I reckon it's stuck behind the Raikou right here. Oh no, Lugia. Oh snap, okay. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the silhouette in the background of this card, it's actually Lugia doing a different pose, but it's so hard to show in the light. And that apparently, those ridiculous cards right there, are the cards that's inside of the custom booster box he's made here. So without further ado, let's open up Drew's custom booster box. So, I'm gonna break the seal of Pro 4. It feels bad, but I'm pretty sure it's just um, cling film, to be honest. Yep. Let's get the cling film off right here. I'm gonna reuse this booster box. For more of my custom booster box videos I'm gonna do with like, you know, actual official TCG packs. Oh, it's got sticky tape there. I wanna use this box because it looks sick. And there's only one other one in the entire world. Oh gosh, look at this. Look at this, you open it up, and there is just epic packs inside. So we got Golem, got the uh, Haunter, Blast Toys. No way, it's got like heaps of them. Dude, how many's here? Charizard, we got the Alakazam, look at that. And it's got Psychic Eye Energies like all across the corner, that's kind of scary, but kind of awesome at the same time. Charizard, Venusaur as well. Yo, no way, then we got Raichu back here. So we got Raichu, Pikachu, Pichu. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. But on the back, it's got the custom Pokemon cards created by Drew's Custom Cards and a Master Ball with a Galaxy thing in the background. Uh, Blast Toys, Haunter. Let's get the rest out. How unique is this? Like, this is just so fan created. That's why I love custom cards, guys. Every single artist has a new take on what they think Pokemon cards should be like, and it's so separate to the official TCG. Like, they'd never do stuff like this. So that's the custom booster box right there. I don't want to open up all of these boosters because I know how rare they are. Um, I kind of want to keep some of them for my personal collection in, like, backgrounds and stuff. I also want to give some of them away at one point, so we're going to do that. But I feel like we're going to open at least one Alakazam pack, so I'm curious as to what's inside of there. So let's find Alakazam right here. And let's open up one of these bad boys. I don't know if it's all psychic or something inside of here, but we'll find out. Then you guys should know. Oh, it's definitely not. First edition Marchop AR card right there. Let's have a look. We got Marchop. We got Volpix. Not too bad. That's from like, I don't know. Definitely the first season of the anime. Can't remember what episode. Pikachu. No, I love the silhouettes, how they're in different styles. Spearow as well. And then, is that it? Or is, I think there's one more card behind here. It's the reverse Espeon. Okay, that's the holo card. So you get a holo guaranteed per every single booster. Not too shabby. I love that though. Any episode with Espeon in it was an absolutely fantastic episode in the anime. I'm going to do one more though. Let's do this Blast Toys one. Oh, not bad. Start off with the Dragonair. Here we go. Then a Pikachu. Then a Squirtle. Absolute staple. Volpix. And then what's the holo card? Oh my gosh! 
flat out bangers. Dude, what the heck? That holo is so spot on. That's literally what like, you know, Gen 1 base set Pokemon cards would look like. Oh my, could you imagine if it's kind of like, you know what this is like? It's like Topps cards back in the day, but more modernized and a little bit better. You know what, I'm gonna do one more. I know I keep getting them out and opening them, but they're so fun. I'm gonna do one more and then I promise I'll keep the rest, all right, in my collection. But let's have a look at what's in here. We've got Magikarp, Bulbasaur, Sandshrew, that is so cute. He's so tubby in the anime. Oh, speaking of tubby Pokemon, Jigglypuff, and then... Okay, yep, there we go, there we go. Look at this, really, really, he looks a bit constipated, but it's Venusaur, hollow. <laughs> oh, because he's being controlled, I think. Dude, look at the shine. All of these holo cards are just like absolutely unreal. And I think that like, that's exactly right with my reverse custom card right there, my full up one. And honestly, man, I cannot get over the Team Ando GX right here. That's the highlight of every, I don't know. You send so many bangers, but like, oh, you've just done so well on this card. Some of the other like custom stuff though was absolutely wild. Leave a comment in the comment section below, which was your favorite? Did this blow your socks off? And, uh, oh my gosh. Make sure you check out Drew's custom cards. I'll link him down below. Um, I'm pretty sure he sells, like, the boost backs like this on his Instagram. Um, and yeah, I have nothing more to say. My voice is gone. This may have been the craziest custom card package I've ever got. This was bananas. Thanks again, man. Like, yeah, I, I really do appreciate all this stuff. It was epic. Until next time, though, guys, keep on gaming.